you know, Mr. Smackums, this is a long, long time coming. In just a couple short days, after four long years, Alex Gunn gets his rightful shot at the SWO World Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> you, your brother, the machine, every single fan that sits their asses in the seats that they pay to come see me for didn't want this. I fought for this. Cameraman, are you hearing me? I fought for this. May 18th, Saturday, Poplarville, Mississippi, the people's champion, Mr. Smackums, the SWO world champion, falls to Alex the Machine Gun. And I will show you why I am hard as granite. Get that damn camera out of my face. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of SWO Warzone. And as you saw in that opening video before our intro, we've got a huge main event for the SWO Southern Heavyweight Championship. But in our opening contest, we have Miracle Mikey Webb after a huge victory over Thaddeus Collins. He's got to go one-on-one -on -one with the Moon Dog Justin Stone. We'll turn it over to that match, but Miracle Mikey Webb has just grabbed the microphone. Let's hear what he has to say. What I want to say is I don't know why anybody would put me up against this guy. I don't know if you guys are too I'm six foot tall. This guy is five foot four. I don't know if you guys are out there. Here's what I'll say. I'm going to make this a very short match. Like, like you short, isn't it? And I'm going to just ask you nicely to give up. How about that? Does everybody want to give up before I beat the mess out of them? Gentlemen, welcome to another edition of FWO Warzone. I'm your color commentator for the evening. You already know the deal. My name is Mr. D.W. Dante Wilson, and we are scheduled for a matchup here between Mikey Webb and Justin the Moon Dog Stone. This is going to be one hell of a contest here between two veterans of the game. Mikey Webb, a more daredevil more technical of the two but moon dog is definitely the more unorthodox of the, of the pair classic intimidation classic biting of the rear end i should say possibly other places i'm not 100 sure on that as uh, mikey uh, already has to reassess his situations right now Yeah, Mikey talks a big game, but don't let the preface fool you. He is one of the most prominent guys we have here on SWO. I remember when he fought Leo, Leo the Great not too long ago. 
and dove off a dove off the the wall. Mikey the risk taker. He he does not mind throwing his body on the line just to get by, just to get a quick W. The, the crowd is not the biggest fan of Mikey. He still believes that he's everyone's number one fan. Oh. You know, Moondog will say for his size, for his, for his size, he is a very strong, well-built human being. Definitely would have the strength advantage. So Mikey would have to try and think on his feet a little bit. And as he does, it lures Moondog outside and throws him to the ring post now. Now it's about to get. Now anything can happen right now. As Mikey looking on to do something on the apron. Good Lord, Mikey Webb. Oh! Springboard side moonsault. On the moon dog landing, landing on moon dog and and some of that concrete there, no give whatsoever. Right in front of these fans here, and Mikey with a big smile on his face, seeing what he's done. And now, gonna take it back inside the ring. Mikey Webb is in control as of right now. After that, hell of a move. Like I said, he's a risk taker. Ooh! Spinal tap. Oh, yeah, another one for good measure. Those kicks have no mercy. And, wait a minute. Going for another. Oh! Leg Larry, you there. He's still trying to get the fans to chant him, but it's just not happening. Mikey goes for the pin now. Nonchalant pin here. One, two. Almost got rolled up there for a three count. And Boondog oh, just gets chopped right back down by Mikey Webb. Now, going for that split leg moonsault. And that could be it right here. One. Two, no, Moondog still stays in this. And Mikey now, trying to stay in this. Trying to just wear him down, trying to keep the Moondog down. Because once he gets going, it's hard to stop him. Now Mikey resorting to a sleeper hole damn, uh, rear naked choke almost. He could make the moon dog go to sleep right here. Oh man, he's starting to fade. Referee's gonna have to check on him. If he goes limp three times, they have to call the match here, guys. Two. Is he going to give me, oh, 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 wait a minute, no. There's still some life left. The fans are trying to rally him back into this. Mikey's grip is starting to slip. He's trying to get some momentum here. Oh, wait, here yeah, go, big power slam for Moondog. One, two, no. Might have been just the thing that Moondog needed or could have been his last gasp attempt to stay in this match. They have space now. There's a little bit of recovery time. Who's going to capitalize on this? Now, what is Mikey about to use Moondog's own bone? Oh! Got sidetracked from that. From that distraction. Turned his back for one second, got hit with a roundhouse kick. 
Now Mikey going back up top one more time. To the top. Huge moonsault. And that is it. My God, Mikey Webb with the W. Hey, Oh, sound a little bit biased there, but nonetheless, Mikey Webb picks up the W. Do you want to learn from one of the best schools with over 20 years of experience in the wrestling business? Then look no further than the SWL Warzone Training School. That's right, you'll learn from some of the best on how to become the next Southern Wrestling Prodigy. And if you want to come to one of the best wrestling schools in the state of Mississippi, look no further than the SWL Warzone Training School. Well, it's that time. It is main event time here on SWO Warzone. And it is going to be an incredible one for the SWO Southern Heavyweight Championship. That's right. It's going to be the challenger, Alex the Machine Gun. He goes one-on-one -on -one with the reigning and defending SWO Southern Heavyweight Champion himself. Mr. Smackums. We're going to turn it over to our man on the ground, Dante Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time. And for the FWO Heavyweight Championship, and there's no blood loss between these two combatants. The champ, Mr. Smackums, going one-on-one. -on -one with the machine gun, Alex Gun. This is a first time encounter between the two, but this is a long time coming if you ask Alex Gun. Alex Gun been in the business for several years now, been trying to chase the heavyweight championship. He finally, finally has his opportunity here. The question is though, can he withstand a man who had such a momentum going into this year alone after defeating Chris Black for the heavyweight championship then retaining the same belt against Chris Black in their rematch can Mr. Smackums <clears throat> storm this weather, weather this storm I should say and retain here tonight Oh, leap fog there. Drop down. Oh, the momentum got to him and shoulder blocked by Al Gunn and the raining booze around this venue here tonight, folks. And now, Smack trying to trip him up here now. Big hip toss. And a beautiful drop kick there from Smackums. And now, it looks like Alex is trying to reset the situation here. Trying to get, trying to think of a new game plan here. You, these two are pretty quick on their feet, both of them. But it seems like, you know, <clears throat> Mrs. Mack is not afraid to go off the ground. Y'all, everyone already knows that big leg drop is something that Alex Gun needs to work, watch out for. But Machine Gun, oh! Clips him with that elbow to the face. He got him hung up on the ropes here. Kick to the midsection now. What does Alex got in mind here? Off oh, the second rope with that huge leg drop to the back of the neck. Two smackums. And that could be it right there. One, two, got to hook the leg. Nah. Only a two count. We were just one second away from crowning a new heavyweight champion here. Ooh. Stinging. Lingering. Chopping the corner there from the machine gun. 
I meant to smack him. Give him some right hands. Huge chop for in retaliation. Another right hand. Let the smack him with the momentum here. Classic smack him though. Ooh. Back foot with the soul block, but instead he ended up hitting that um, hitting that kick to the face. But then trying to trying to get the quick win there with a running leg drop. But only got a two count. Al's gun now using his head. No pun intended. Oh, huge thrust kick to the head and. And that is knocked, smacking for a loop here. Smacking was, has not lost, uh, oh, as of, as of this recording, Smacking has not lost one single match since becoming an SWO Heavyweight Champion. But so Al's going to must be trying to break that, not just break that streak, but also become Heavyweight Champion as Smacking was trying to power himself out of this, and he does successfully. Oh, overhand chop. Shots in the midsection. Smackham's trying to weather the storm here. Going off, oh, ran into that buckle there. Got sidestep, big knee from Al's gun. Now I'm going up to the midsection, soaking it all in, taking off the elbow pad, throwing it at the fans. What a disrespectful human being. Taking his time. He's literally about to hit a big old elbow drop. Nobody home. Both men are down, but this could be Smackham's opportunity. Oh, big suplex. Sending him inside out. And now cr cradling, cuddling that rope, I should say. Trying to just stay away from the whooping that Smackham was giving him right now. But as I say that, cunning, sadistic, and clever. All things to describe. Ow, it's done. That's the crowd trying to rally for Smackham there, but it's just... Smackham's damn near defenses right now. As he is getting right hands to the face. I was going trying to wear it down, Smackham. Trying to just find something now, just keep him down. For that three count. Ooh! Like a snap suplex. Had a little bit of a. Looked like it spiked. Come smacked on. a little bit on his neck, but it was a little hard to tell. Dumb. Ignorant. Bastard. It's my time. I'm assuming it's my time. I'm smacking his. Gonna tell him no, sir. That's not your time, but ah, oh, King Kong lariat from I was gun there. And if he can cover him as he is right now hooking the legs, two. Ah, almost got it there. Close two count there. Smack is taking a lot of punishment right now. Stop. 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 
Smack him arriving in pain. As Alex lets, lets him go out of the hole there. It looks like he's going up top here, but he's talk, again talking smack. Very disrespectful with this crowd here right now. He's going, oh, he's going up top. Of, oh! Malcolm's trying to shut him down here now. Smacker trying to go up. Wait. Oh my god. I don't like it from this way. Look. Oh. Oh, that look at her. Both of them. Superplex. Off the top. Both men are down. Smacker's camera. Capitalize on the on the move. He's still writhing in pain. Writhing in back pain. Smack him trying to get back into this now. Oh, they're going back and forth now. Smackums with the right hands overwhelming Alex Gunn here. Throws one to the corner. Ooh. They might be saying say Alex Gunn is, is worn out. He has spent. And he just not maybe just a couple seconds away from losing his first opportunity in his SWF heavyweight title. I was like smacking his face. hit such a big old thing this blast, but the referee got caught in the middle. Oh no, smacking his Back and turn around. Oh, Busaku knee. Busaku knee from Alex Gunn. He has him laid out. They're trying to wake the referee up. One, two, not this way. Three, no. Smackham's lives. Mr. Smackham is still alive. I was going to throw out arguably the biggest move out of his arsenal. And he still, still couldn't get the job done. And now, oh! Huge spine buster. And you know what that means. He got the referee away because he's about to go all the way to the top. Of the heavens for this huge leg drop. Lateral press one, two, three. Huge win. Smith the Smackers retains the SWO Southern Heavyweight Championship. Another success. I feel like I need to address this because suddenly everybody want to be 50 cent asking 21 questions. Why did I align myself with Alice Gunn? Why did I attack Scholar? Why? 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 Look, the KOB don't have to answer to nobody. You got that? However, I'm going to say this one time and one time only. Alex came to me and said that he can help make me greater. Just so happened that he came with a stack of cash to ensure that I watch his back. 
And what can I say? Money talks. Alex Gunn, you should be thanking me. Because I took out this handicapped piece of s*** and this damn horse. <laughs>